everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Kaylee and I am a reseller I usually pick up clothing and shoes at thrift stores and I resell them on eBay and Poshmark for a profit today I've got a thrift haul that I picked up at Goodwill yesterday this wasn't on like a sale or anything I just picked it up full price so I'm going to show you the items that I got if you're interested in seeing what I'm selling on eBay and Poshmark then just stay tuned I usually film these sitting down but then I find myself like standing up a bunch to show you the item and like back up so I'm gonna try standing today um, so this thrift haul is somewhat small I picked up a lot of items that I don't normally pick up try to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone so I'm gonna show you those so I went through the tie section and I didn't find a whole lot there but I did find this tie by J crew and it is like a whale print, good colors. I just thought it was cute. Um, probably only gonna ask like 12, 15 bucks for these, but I like keeping some ties in my inventory. They tend to be slow sellers, but they do keep a steady income going as long as I keep them in stock in my store. And typically I'm picking these up for a very, very low cost, usually less than a dollar. I was going through the handbags and I don't pick up a lot of handbags because I don't know, like I know about good handbag brands, but when I do come across ones that claim to be that, I worry that they're going to be fakes. So in general, I just don't really like going to the handbag section, but this caught my eye because it looked really well made. It doesn't have any branding on it. I checked like all throughout each pocket. Um, it feels like real leather, really quality made. It's got the studding detail on the bottom. You can see it's stitched very well. It feels like it's hardly been used. And I don't know what to call this bag. Um, it appears to be a men's bag. It's got the leather on the strap too through part of it. So this I believe is a men's bag and I think they usually wear it like on their back like this and it kind of hangs down maybe up here <laughs> um but i picked it up it was good quality and i've seen although i don't know what the style name is drop a comment down below if you know what it's called um i see a lot of men wearing these now and again this just felt like a good quality piece so i picked it up not sure what to expect until i figure out what the style of this is called um, but I think I only paid like four or five bucks for this, so I'll at least get my money back on that. I did find some shoes. Um, these are a men's like chukka boot. Got the suede leather all in all in pretty decent condition. These ones are by Clark's, which is a comfort brand for both men and women soles are in really good shape too. Um, Clark's I don't pick up a bunch of but I do like picking up in the men's shoes depending on what the style is so I know that these are in style right now the Chukka boot style. Um, they felt like quality so I picked them up for five bucks and actually I paid $5.99 for them because they have a tag specifying the price back here. Usually they're five bucks unless they put a different price on them. So I paid $5.99. Um, I did check comps on these. They were going all over the place. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to list mine for like 30 bucks, but I did see a good sell through rate on Clark's Chukka boots. This is a pair of men's New Balance shoes. New Balance is also a comfort brand. Don't pick up a lot of New Balance. Um, but I do like picking up the men's pieces when they look to be a more like a hiking shoe or a work shoe, which these did. So these were the 969 style. So I made sure to look up this specific style on eBay and check comps and they had a really good sell through rate. Paid five bucks for these. I'm thinking probably 30, $35 on these. I found these Nike Fly Knits. 
If you don't know about these, they are really awesome to pick up and they're a really popular style. These ones are the Free 4.0 Flyknit. I actually have a pair of Nike Flyknits. I'm not sure what the like specific style is, but they are so stinking comfy. I picked them up with the bins and mine are like green and blue and I didn't realize that it was starting to like wear on the toe where someone's toe was constantly pushing here. So I ended up keeping them for myself because they were my size and they are the most comfortable Nikes I've ever worn. So what makes the fly knits great is they have this like stretchy like fabric material. Getting up close so you can kind of see what I mean. Um, and people just love the Nike fly knits. So I think, I don't know if these are men's or women's. Let's see, they're 10.5. I don't know. I will have to do measurements on that. Um, but these were a good color. A lot of people like picking up black shoes because they go with everything, have a little bit of gray and white on them. I'm going to clean them up, but yeah, if you guys come across Nike Fly Knits and they're in decent enough condition, I would pick them up. These ones even have a little bit of wear. I'm going to touch that up um, with some edge dressing. Hopefully that'll work. If not, I'll still sell them as is because they do have such a good sell-through rate. Um, I paid five bucks for these. Um, I've got to do more comps on this specific um, color, but yeah, they go they go good. They'll go quick. So do comps on these if you've never seen them before. On to clothing, I did go through activewear and again did not find a whole lot, but I am trying to get more activewear in my store as that's what people are looking for right now. That's what people will be looking for in the spring. So this is a pair of soft surrounding size medium women's leggings and they're like a royal blue color. They feel really like thick and well made um, and they are like an ankle legging and they also have this little crisscross on the side of the ankle here. Um, I'm, I might try these on because even though they're a medium and I usually wear a large in bottoms, these look like they might fit. They look like they have a lot of room. So I might try these on because they feel really comfy. If I don't keep them for myself, um, I paid five bucks for them. I will sell them for $25 to $30 on eBay. Another activewear piece, this one's by Apana. They make really cute pieces and I mean until reselling I hadn't heard of them sorry it's having such a hard time focusing so this is a size medium pullover it is a like pale really pretty blue color and it's really soft and lightweight I picked this up because I really like the color but also it had a little bit of detail on the sleeve here so it's got the thumb hole but it also has like this it's not a bell sleeve it's almost like a tulip sleeve um, where it comes down a little further on your hand and then cuts up so a little bit of an asymmetric sleeve which I liked whenever I can capture more details and it's a little bit more out of the ordinary you can usually demand a higher price so for these Apana pullovers, I saw most of them going for like 20 bucks. I'm gonna list this for $25 and see what happens. And I paid five bucks for it. So that was it for activewear. I'm trying so hard to get it, but um, it had to have been picked through or they're just not getting a lot in. So moving on to the rest of the clothing, I found this Athleta sweater, size large. This is a merino wool sweater and it's like an oversized boxy tan v-neck sweater. It does have a little bit of pilling so I'm going to take care of that. It's pretty minimal so I'm not worried about getting it out. And it has um, some like rib detail cutting along the sides to kind of give more of a contour to the body which I like. I paid $4.29 for this, and without doing comps, I think I'll probably sell it around $30, $35 maybe. I've got to look up the exact style name for this one. This next piece is by Chico's, and it is a size zero, which I'll always mention 
just in case anybody's new to reselling or new to this brand, but they have vanity sizing. So their size zero is equivalent to, I think like a small maybe, an extra small. I've got to look on their size chart again. But if you look up Chico's size chart um, and go to their website to find it, you'll see that they have what's called vanity sizing. And so they use their own sizing and it's not equivalent to what you're used to seeing. So if you do pick up Chico's, make sure that you're aware of that because you don't want to list something as a size zero when it's really a size uh, small or medium. So this is a wool full zip coat. It has really nice color blocking. It's black, tan, white, and red. I just thought that this was a really great style, a good like office career piece. Um, I saw one similar to this uh, going for a decent amount on eBay. I think I paid like six bucks for this and I'm hoping to get probably like $35 for it. This next piece is by Wallace and Barnes, size medium, it's a men's, which I learned Wallace and Barnes, um, I don't know if it's like made by J. Crew, if it's a line off of J. Crew, if it's a collaboration with J. Crew. But I do know that somehow it, it involves J. Crew. So um, this was just a really thick men's like work wear shirt in camo, which is a pretty desirable print. It's got some more unique colors that you wouldn't normally see on a camo print. I did comps for this and these were doing very well. Um, I paid $4.29 for it. I'm hoping somewhere between $25 and $30. This next one I picked up not because of the brand but just because of the factors that it had going for it. So this brand is called Scoozy, which I wasn't finding a lot when I looked it up. The size large, I think it's, I think it's a men's. Um, but I picked it up because it's got the fair aisle. It's got like that deep pile, which is really popular right now. And it's like a, a shirt jacket. Um, really cool colors, green, tan, really like the print. So if you don't know what pile is, it's kind of like fleece, but more piled on. So you can see here, um, it's like really fuzzy. Now normal fleece wouldn't be piling up this much so when you see this you can call it like a deep pile jacket. Um, so deep pile is really popular right now that's why I picked it up. Good color, good print. Um, I paid, actually I got it half off because the blue tags are half off. So I paid like $2.10 for this. Um, I'm hoping I think I'm gonna list it around like $35 and see what happens, but I have luck selling things, items like this, even when they are not a name brand. All right guys, so that is it for my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment, let me know what you're picking up. Are you having any luck finding activewear? Because I think all of like the retail shoppers are picking that up before I get there. So I need to figure out which day they put a lot of it out. Um, drop a comment, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.